Hey guys, don't forget, Lou Nell will be at the Funny Bone and the one and only Virginia Beach this weekend. You better go see her. Tell her PT sent you. Bye. Of course, it's a Monday slash Tuesday. Long day. Monday was a long day for me. <clears throat> you know, I was at my church Sunday, all day Sunday. When I got home, I slept and slept and slept. And then I slept and I got up early, early Monday morning to take care of some bills and so on and so on. I, I got up about 4 o'clock Monday morning. Oh, my God, that was early for me. I was on the road by 5, 5.30. Taking care of my business, but I'm here. I'm PT. This is going to be the Monday, Tuesday edition. Honey, let's just break in news. I am PT. If you've never seen this show before, this is called PT Showbiz Top 5, where I go from 5 and I work my way down to number 1. This is called PT's Punch. Oh, yeah, this is no tea, honey. My sister, Miss Gary, is the one with the tea. I got the PT's Punch, and she knows about this, this PT's Punch. Oh, yeah, she knows. <laughs> I'm sorry, he knows. <laughs> anyway, y'all, welcome to the show. I got to get right to it. It's a lot to talk about. Don't forget this weekend, starting on the 7th, my girl Lunel will be in Virginia Beach at the Funny Bone. Stop by and see her and Sister Quintella. Please stop by and say, PT told me to come by and say hi. I promise you, you're going to have a great time. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about Show Me Stop Five Number Five, the Bush family. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what I have to say about George Bush. Hush up, it's not five number four. The school teacher gave the kids pine saw. Oh. All right, it's up, it's not five number three. Magic Johnson's daughter, prayers go up to her, honey, because it was almost a wrap. <laughs> All right, it's up, it's not five number two. Is it true that Sophia McIntosh, my friend, is going to be uh, filling in for Madea, um, Tyler Perry doing Madea? Ooh. T, T, T. Yes, that's T, honey. Hi, right, of course, show is top five. Number one, Cardi B is going to be in trouble if her ass don't show up for court. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get this, right. Uh, uh, George Bush, you know, president, former, former President George Bush, as you know, he was living here in Houston, Texas, and it's a big should do going on right now. Secret Service is everywhere. And, of course, you know, he's they're going to ride his, they put him on the train, they put him on the first uh, Air Force One, and he definitely deserves it. But a lot of people don't think he deserves it. I was, you know, going through uh, social media, and um, there were some things that was posted in the LGBT community uh, posts. And let's not forget, you know, when he was president, there was a lot of people who died from AIDS because of him. Uh, let's not forget the war that he claims uh, weapons of mass destruction. And, and I feel like this. None of us are perfect. And I feel like that we all make mistakes in our lives. And I'm sure before he closed his eyes and before he met his maker, if you believe in that, I believe he got it right. I, re I really believe that he got it right. You know, some people just make some mistakes. Can you imagine how much pressure George Bush was under when, when the AIDS scare was really a, a, a horrible thing and no one knew what to say or do about it? You know, he was a good old white country man and doing the the godly thing, because you know a lot of God, saved folks, folks that's in the church, so I won't say saved folks, but a lot of people in the church believe that that's a disease from God. Ugh. Ugh. Well, if that's the case, then you know, why are straight people dying from it? I, I don't believe in that, and I don't believe in that, but I just say, you know, may, may he rest in peace, and, and I knew as soon as Barbara was left up out of here, honey, he was on his way right behind her. It ain't been, what, seven months when she passed away? Well, they well they say they're together. We don't know because we ain't never died, and we don't know what happens when you leave. <laughs> Let me move on before I get myself in trouble. Anyway, let's talk about this teacher who gave the kids pine saw. How in the hell do you get kids pine saw? Well, there was a preschool assistant. Oh, here you go. That's the problem right there. This whore was an assistant. Um, accidentally served pine saw instead of apple juice. You know what? Does this look like pine saw? No. This this looks like tea. But it's PT's punch. This this could this could probably pass for pine saw. It probably could. But you could you could smell that and you could tell that that's not that's that that's not uh, pi, uh, juice apple juice. Well, they were preschool. Yeah, preschool. They didn't know they was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, them little kids, them little kids saw that juice on it, and <laughs> they was. I'm going to hell. Them the kids saw that juice, baby, and they was ready to drink of the wine, okay? Well, anyway, the, <laughs> there was three students and um, that were served the juice, a.k.a. Pine Saw, um, and as he was getting the morning snacks together, he accidentally served it and poured it into the, to the kids. And then once he realized that, you know, uh, there was a mistake, four, four out of four, 
it was a four and a five year old. Um, they was the ones who got a little sick where no one died from this. And I'm asking myself, you really think that was a mistake? Come on, man. You, you just no way in the world, child, that you, that you can't tell me that these, that teacher did not, could not smell a pot. Well, well, you know what? I'm just saying this. I'm just going to say it like I'm going to mean it. Well, cause you better be glad it wasn't one of us. Cause honey, he'd be locked up for attempted murder. Mm-hmm. Anyway, child, watch your kids in school, honey. Tell your kids to smell their drinks before they go to put their mouth to stuff. You know, this. Let's move on. Let's talk about your best top five, number three. Talk about, oh, Lord, all must happen. You guys didn't hear about Magic Johnson's daughter, child? Well, some friends rented her an Airbnb. All right, that's the first sign right there. <laughs> so she gets into the Airbnb. It was her and some friends. But I guess she was there alone. And two guys broke in. I, I don't know how they got in. To me, it was a setup. And she got out. She went out the back door and she ran. She could have been murdered or killed. You know, this was a setup. I don't give a damn. When nobody said they stole a Rolex watch, they got cash and jewelry. Set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. So they need to investigate these friends of theirs because there's no way in the world you can't tell me that this, come on. Now, how did they even know that this, that this girl was there? That's really, really, you know what, I, if I was Magic Johnson, I would put some, get my kids some, some type of protection, you know. I think a lot of these celebrities don't realize they are really celebrities. Like, I know Wendy Williams talks about her son catching a bus. I'm like, ain't no way in the world I would be Wendy Williams and let my son catch no bus to try to be normal. Yeah, you could be normal, but you got crazy motherfuckers that's running around here. You know, you, you could be normal all you want, but what about the crazy MFs? You, those are the ones you need to look out for. You know, you, you can't you can't go on thinking, oh, everything is happy, how they do, they never say goodbye, as they say in church. <laughs> but, you know, oh, by the way, I can't believe y'all never heard me play. Some of y'all say, oh, I didn't know you could play the piano, P.T. Sit down somewhere. I play the piano all the time. I'm not a Liberace, but I get by. <clears throat> but I just think this was a setup, and I think they need to invest investigate it, because I just really feel like Magic Johnson's door could have been dead over some friends set her up. I really believe it was a setup. I really, really believe it. Tell me what you think below. Leave a comment. Let's go on to Sophie's Top 5 number two. Let's talk about my friend Sophia McIntosh. Well, if you've never seen Sophia McIntosh, she's on V103 in Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to all the people in that ATL. Well, I was going to talk about this about a month ago. I just got sidetracked. I try my best to listen to Sophia like every morning when she comes on the radio. If you live in the Atlanta area, even if you don't, you can download uh, V103. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm see if I can pull her up and I can show you a little something while I'm talking about her. Well, as you know, Tyler Perry <clears throat> uh, announced that he's going to be retiring Medea, but rumors on the streets is that, yes, he may be retiring Medea, but he may, may be having someone else play Medea. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this video where it says Sophia versus Tyler Perry, where she is alleging that Tyler Perry took her idea. Now, me being from back in the days, you know, I kind of side with Sophia on this. Now, I think they've kind of, you know, I think they've kind of patched things up a little bit. I don't think things are like they used to be. And the word on the streets is that Sophia might be, she might be playing Medea, which I think, well, if you're going to be playing the character that should have you should have been playing in the beginning, why not? You know, if you go down and go, go to Tyler Perry versus Sophia, I'm going to see if I can find it. And you go look at it on YouTube and she'll give you the whole story. You know, she'll give the whole story of how she said he allegedly came and stole her stole her ideas, took her lines, and so on and so on and so on, you know. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If maybe not playing Madea, maybe, you know, Sophia could play an auntie or uh, an, aunt, an auntie or, you know, a grandma. Some, just something. But anyway, I'll keep you guys posted in it. I'm so Sophia, uh, like I said, I watch her every day. Uh, if you want to watch her on YouTube, it's called V103, Atlanta, Georgia. Make sure you put Atlanta because there's a V103 in Chicago as well. And go listen to her. And you can download the app and listen to her every morning on V103. I believe she comes on at 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And I think, or 7.38, something like that. But you just listen in and you can, she'll tell you when she does. And she's on she's on uh, Facebook about the Sophia McIntosh. That would be crazy. I mean, it, you know, I, th I think it would be great if they gave her that part because Sophia's good. I mean, Sophia is great. She's as good as me, but no, I'm just joking. But she's good. She's good on the mic and she's really funny. So I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe I can do an interview with her soon. Okay, let's go. Let's talk about Sophia's top five number one. Let's talk about Cardi B. Girl, she might be going to jail, honey. Whoops. 
Well, you know, the word on the streets that, you know, you know, it was the incident that happened with her. Supposedly, she set up, um, she had her homegirls jump on these bartenders. Yeah, the bartenders who was actually in uh, Nicki Minaj's video. Well, you know, uh, she was supposed to have showed up for court today, Monday, and she didn't show up, but the legal team showed up. And of course, um, the people were kind of upset about this thing. Hey, you had plenty of time and you knew about this, you know, so why didn't you show up? And they're saying, well, they can't get into contact with her. What? Well, listen, I'm going to tell Cardi B something, and I know she's going to watch this video. Honey, you got to realize just because you made it the way you have made it and you got all this money and you on high heaven right now, then people still looking at you the same way you was when you were stripping out at the club. They don't give a damn. You better ask Bill Cosby. You better ask O.J. Simpson. You better ask a lot of these people. They will lock your ass up. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. So they're saying that she, she you know, She's been given a, a week, six weeks extension, and and the the prosecution is saying, well, why don't you guys do a bench warrant offer? The judge wasn't buying that. He was saying, nah, she just needs to show up this Friday. Yes, she needs to show up this Friday, or she's going to be arrested. There's going to be a warrant out for her arrest. So I'm sure Nikki, I'm sure not Nikki, but I'm sure well, Nikki Minaj may show up too. But I'm sure Cardi B is going to show up. I'm sure she's not going to just. Just ignore the judge and not show up unless she got something that we don't know about. You know, so I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted uh, about what's going on with Cardi B. Listen, I, Cardi, Cardi B, honey, and anybody who's made it in the world, just never forget where you come from, honey, and try to stay humble. Because, baby, you will get it. You will get it. They will throw the books at you. And listen, just like Takashi 6 9 his ass needs to sit in prison for the rest of his life. They're giving him chance after chance after chance after chance. But again, people are saying, oh, it's only because of the album. He's trying to sell an album. Child, I, it's not that serious. I don't guess. I don't, I'm not in the rap game, honey. I'm rapping presents, but that's about it. Speaking of presents, um, happy holidays to everybody. And I do want to sing this one. Before I close out, I want to sing this one Christmas carol. It just means so much to me. So everybody, it's the Chestnut song. I love this. Everybody sing along with me. Here we go. Chestnuts. I wrote it down. So. <laughs> Chestnuts. I always, the only thing I remember is the chest and the nuts. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm PT with all the latest entertainment news. I'll see you guys. Um, like I said, I didn't do a show uh, earlier today, but I got it out today. I'm going to say this is Monday and Tuesday, but chances are I will be doing the show on Tuesday as well. I uh, love you guys. Guys, take care. Please write a comment below. Like and comment. Please, whatever you do. Oh, by the way, I got something special coming Wednesday for one of my subscribers. You guys are going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. All right. Get your tickets ready for Lunell if you're in the Virginia area. Again, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys soon.